Hey, what's up everybody? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about uh, something from Threads and we're gonna be really looking and diving deep into this idea that skills compound faster than money. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Marlon Johnson. This is The Daily Study and you guys are gonna be studying with me as I go through information that's helping me to become a uh, better entrepreneur. This is what's helped me grow a seven-figure business and will continue to help me grow into the future. So be sure to like, subscribe, and share this with you get with your friends if you get value in the end. And by the way, obviously, I still make mistakes. Like I, this is my favorite part about this is you get to see me work and grow in real time, so that hopefully it inspires you to do the same. Stop worrying about being perfect. But let's look at this right here. I went up on Threads and I pulled from one of my favorite entrepreneurs I like to study. This is a young guy by the name of Alex Hermosi. Some of you probably have already heard about him if you've been on this channel for quite some time. And he wrote this thread saying, skills compound faster than money. Invest in yourself, you'll grow faster than 10% per year. Invest accordingly. I'm inclined to say that this is probably one of the most true statements you could ever possibly make. And here's my rationale behind this. Back in October of 2019, I was living at home with my mom and my sister. I was barely making around $24,000 per year, working three jobs and going to school full time to get my doctorates in physical therapy. I was stressed, overwhelmed, and quite frankly, broke. And Ultimately, I was realizing that the trajectory I was on in life was going to leave me stuck in that position where even after I had gotten my graduates and gotten the DPT, and I didn't graduate by the way, but had I finished and graduated, what the life I would have had would have been one where I'm making maybe starting around $80,000 per year, maybe I push it up to about $140,000, $150,000 per year. And I became one of those people who was living in the suburbs of Long Island, going paycheck to paycheck, which, you know, not a bad life if that's the life you wanted, but that's not the life I desired. And I had a break away. So I started to look for different things. And I was start trying to figure out how do I earn more money or what job can I get or where should I go? And I started to discover that I need to invest in myself first. Alex Ramosi calls it the SNME 500, not the S&P 500. And that when you start investing in yourself, you actually start to increase your earning potential. Robert Kiyosaki was an individual I studied for many years now. And he always spoke about this in his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and in his second book, Cashflow Quadrants, that you have to be willing to buy assets. And the first asset that you already own that you need to increase the value of is yourself. You are your first asset. You are the thing in your life that produces income for you, that makes money for you, that creates opportunity, that turns nothing of, like that turns trash into cash. If you invest in yourself and you increase the skills you have, right? That's how you invest in yourself. You increase your skills. You increase what you're able to do, your capacity, your bandwidth, your output. By investing in yourself, you actually get a much larger return than 10% in a stock or 10% investing in real estate, which is so mind blowing. Hey, think about this. If you're currently working a job and you're making $40,000 a year and you decide to go and buy a course for let's say 500 bucks that teaches you how to sell and you're able to get another position inside your same job at the same company, but now you're a salesperson and you're able to go from making $40,000 a year to making $80,000 a year, that $500 investment now produced an additional $40,000 in your life. I, I'm not even gonna do the math for you right now, but I can guarantee you that's a lot more than 10% of an ROI. For some reason, people don't look at it this way. People are always looking for the where can I throw my money. They're lazy with investing. They're using their money to, and quite frankly, I get a lot of my private money lenders who do this because, they're, and they're not always lazy. Sometimes they just have more going on or for them, it's not as much of an incentive. I'm constantly figuring out how to double down on my number one investment, which is me. I'm, people ask me all the time, what do I do with the money I earn? Because they know that I raise private capital. I do capital raising to get into projects, to buy new real estate, to buy new properties, to do all that fun stuff. Therefore, if I'm using other people's money to get into deals and I'm making a profit on the deals I'm getting into, what am I doing with the profits that I make? I'm investing it back into myself. I'm going out and I'm buying another mentorship course. I'm getting another coaching program. I'm buying another sales course. I'm buying another book. I mean, I, I have a library of books around me, right? Like 
one of the last great books I bought was 100 Million Leads by Alex Ramosi, right? Phenomenal, phenomenal book. It's teaching me more about marketing and teaching me more about lead generation and how to create effective lead magnets and how to create content that's valuable to people. And I want to remind you to do the same thing. This is counterintuitive advice. Odds are your parents aren't going to say to you, hey, you earned $100,000 this year. Great job. They're going to tell you to save it, put it away for a rainy day. I'm going to tell you to take that money and go buy a mentorship program. Go buy a coach, go buy a course, go buy a book. Continue to double down on the investment that is you. Pour your money back into you. That's gonna be where you get the highest ROI every single time. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Do you agree with this advice? Do you agree with Harmozi said here that skills compound faster than money? Or do you believe that money compounds faster somewhere else? Like, are you a, no, the best investment is a whole life policy or no, the best investment is private equity. What's your opinion? Tell me where's the best investment that you think people's money should be going. Leave it in the comments below. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another episode of The Daily Study.